Welcome to another GibbsCam version 14 update. Today we're going to show you a little bit about dimensioning and mouse offset. Let's bring up our dimensioning palette and some new items in there. Uh, these, this one here, angle to a horizontal axis and angle to a vertical axis, and this one for multiple dimensions. So let's show you the uh, first one here, angle to a horizontal axis. So here you can see we have an angle, so I'm going to click on my side there and just a point and hold the control key down and there's your angle there. Okay, the next one is going to be, of course, vertical, same thing. There, hold the control and you can see 135 degrees from vertical on there. So some nice features there. Now on the, the rest of these dimensions, let's say this one here, uh, which I use a lot, uh, X, Y, and Z dimensions. So if I click on here, you can see, sorry, it dimensions at uh, one time, then it goes away. But if you want to do multiple dimensions with any of these, just click on this button here for multiple dimensions. Click on this again, and you can see you can dimension as many things as you want. And of course, you can drag these, sorry, you can drag these off as well. As you always could. Of course, you can hide those if you want. Bring them back if you want. Let's hide them for the moment. So, some dimensioning changes there. Another one on the geometry palette uh, in your offset uh, menu. Now you have a mouse offset. So, let's just put a distance of half inch there and uh, accuracy. Let's just put in a thou there. Just click on the shape here and click on the mouse shape. And as you can see, as you move your mouse, whether inside or outside, you can kind of get a preview of what you want as far as offset goes. And of course, you can see your dimensioning change over here as you move it. And if it looks pretty good, you could click on it. Or if you actually want to have it go right to the dimension, you could put it right in there and click it. Otherwise, you could click like that. And there is your offset dimension. So a couple new features on there um, on version 14. Now let's say you want the uh, font bigger because sometimes I have people say, oh, the font's too small. Can we change the font? Let's bring up our dimensioning palette again. And all you need to do, let's turn on our dimensions first. All you need to do is right click in this blue area and click on set font. So I kind of have an odd font right there that you can see but you can choose pretty much any font that comes with Windows. Let's just choose this one here. And if you want the font smaller, you can see you can type that and type your uh, description if you'd like. If that's too small, you can always go to set font and you can change the font to something different. And you can give it a larger size, let's say 15 and you can see your font gets bigger. If you want a lot larger, you change that as well. So uh, the colors I have are red because I like that. It seems to uh, pop out a little easier on the screen, but you can always change that under your preferences and you bring up your display and change your edit appearance. You can always change that on your colors geometry right there, dimensions, so you can change that. So you can customize any colors you want on your screen for the solids as well as your background, everything else. Thanks for watching.